the scammers that were involved with uh, iShow Speed have come back, and there is even more stuff going on with it. I'm going to be honest. I'm uh, not surprised about this. I don't think anybody should be surprised about this. Let's take a look at it. Here we go. Last week, I show Speed promoted Paradox Crypto, which was widely yep. criticized to be a scam, and he yes. apologized, and I confronted the founders behind this crypto. Which, by the way, Speed not only apologized, he removed all traces of him doing the stuff with them. It's not like he's trying to apologize and maintain a relationship. It seems like, yes, he showed incredible lack of judgment, uh, you know, with his age and the fact that he's... I, I think that if, if Speed learns one thing from this is that he needs to learn that whoever he trusts to make management deals for him, he needs to have somebody different do it. That's all there is to it. Because the odds are like, this is my best, this is my best argument of why I thought I show speed wasn't really that much at fault, is that if you asked him to explain cryptocurrency, what do you think would happen? He would have no fucking idea. And I think it's a very fair argument to say that he shouldn't promote it. You're totally fucking right. But he did. Overall, all I'm saying is that I do not think that he knowingly promoted a scam. Because I don't think that he knows enough about it to be able to discern that it was a scam in the first place. He couldn't have... He, like, he doesn't know anything... Like, he doesn't know anything about... He's 17. That's not an excuse. Now, I didn't say it one was. of the founders has gone full internet tough guy and is making threats okay, towards here the people go. who criticized him. See you, you little shit. I'm gonna come see you personally myself. Yeah, for spreading all that fake fing lies on my name. You little b Watch when I catch you, I'm gonna smash your teeth in. This double <laughs> down by itself would seem so insane, but it actually What an angry worse. boy. So this is a full expose on Amio Talio, the founder, uh -huh. who in my opinion is a danger to himself well, that's and a Lamborghini. Others, in nice. addition to being a scammer. So we'll discuss all of this, but first, let me bring you up to speed on what's happened so far. Mm -hmm. As many of you know, I confronted Paradox Crypto on a live stream a week ago. Okay. And things went pretty badly for the two of them. There were two brothers. They kept deflecting basic questions about is this a get rich quick scheme or not? And they also kept saying that, like, it's not that you think we're a scam. You just must not like us. You don't think we're a scam. You just oh. you just think that we're not going to. No, I think you're a scam. Yeah. You must not like the way we dress or yeah, the color, the color of our skin. skin. Yeah. All it is, all it is, is because we're, in your, we're not your average suit and tie kind of guys. Maybe you don't like the color of our skin. Which is a pretty shocking allegation when only an hour earlier, I was a man of dignity and a man of the people. You are a man of dignity and a man of the people because you are obviously exposing fakes. I don't know why I just keep going from awesome guy to horrible person. Well, it's because you started you started disagreeing with them. That's why, obviously. Race card again. I mean, the guy's a piece of shit. What do you expect? Whenever I confront one of these people, but at this point, it's just the coffeezilla. But honestly, I thought the story was going to end here for me. Because uh -huh. even though they've made a response video about this a couple days ago, where Ami Otalio, the founder, tried to talk a lot more carefully and considerately about his crypto coin, right. I watched it and realized it wasn't worth my time to cover. Because <laughs> A, Moist Critical already covered this, and I felt like he had done a great job already. But also, B... It was basically all the same counter arguments that I had already debunked on a two hour live stream. Yeah, but just yesterday, something changed. Without Amio Talio decided to double down by going from a crypto scammer into an unprofessional goon who threatens people who criticize him. A goon? Okay. What's worse is that he didn't just threaten people with big platforms like me or Moist Critical. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. He was nice to us. He told me after I toasted him and his brother for two hours on a live stream, good luck on your future ventures. No, instead of going after us, Ami Otalio decided to target a small TikTok creator that dared to criticize him the exact same way I did. But instead of saying good luck on your future ventures, he said this. Watch when I catch you, I'm going to smash your teeth in. Every single time you look at your face in the mirror, you're going to see your broke up nose. Bust up in 20 different places. That's what I'm going to do. That big f nose of yours. Right? You thought it was funny, innit? You thought it was funny. You just troll man's on the internet. Bro, bro this dude's wound up. <laughs> He's wound. He's so mad. Oh, my God. Like, imagine sitting there.
talking to your phone like that. You're sitting there talking to the fucking phone. Oh my god. Sending him voicemails. Like, it's so sad. My internet guy. I'm gonna put your fucking name out. I'm gonna put 10 bags down to anyone that shows me this guy's address. I'll give him 10 bags. And then I'm gonna see what you're gonna say when I come there. Because I think you think I'm just some internet brother, not an internet Yeah? So I'll see you very soon, you little now, this is so annoying to me. It's the ultimate <laughs> internet tough guy act. You choose the smallest voice criticizing you and you say, okay, I'm going to bash your teeth in if you don't shut up. Yeah. Like, why not say that on a live stream to me? And it's, it's also the dumbest thing, too, because gonna look you're bad. literally threatening somebody online recorded. You're saying you're putting a bounty on them. Like, you yeah, I mean, I feel like this is a fucking go straight to jail, do not pass go situation. Like, this dude just incriminated himself. Like, how's that? Yeah, that's like massively fucking illegal. You might get arrested doing that. Yeah. And honestly, this thing was so unhinged that even after seeing a screenshot from Ami Otalio's Snapchat, I didn't even believe like the. He oh my, the person grabs this guy, brings him to me. I want to see a Charles in real life. Oh my God. Look at him. He's so mad. This was real. I thought it might have been a deep fake or something. Yeah. He says 5K to the person who grabs this guy who criticized him, and brings him to me. I want to see this troll's face in real life. Mm -hmm. And then he asks for his mom's address. I honestly thought I was trapped in some kind of paradox metaverse nightmare that I'd have to, like, pay Paracoin to get out of. There just is yeah. no way in my mind someone could be that stupid to voice physical threats over a recordable voice memo. And well, of course he's that stupid. He set up the whole crypto scam. He actually thought it would be a good idea to go on speed stream, pay speed a bunch of fucking money to threat to to promote a scam like this. But he there's of course he's a fucking moron. It's already established. And then have screenshots of them putting. Did you say they were smart scamming? No, they're not. These guys aren't smart. The last guys are smart. Did you, did you see that Wolfgang guy with voicemail saying he's going to beat the shit out of somebody? No. He just keeps to himself. He says, oh, another failed company. All right. Start another one. That's it. Yeah, he just keeps going. A bounty on somebody. And it wasn't until I reached out to the person who was actually threatening all of this, Naeem that I actually believed any of this was real for sure. So the CEO, basically yesterday, the CEO of Paradox uh, messaged me. He straight away went with threats. He was like, said, I'm gonna put a 10K bounty on you. Like, I'm gonna make people come after you, look for you. Took a screenshot off my Snapchat profile and put it on his story, telling people to come look for me. Yep. Now, obviously, these are pretty shocking allegations. So I wanted to make sure there was no doubt. Like, this is like, this is jail time shit. Like, I mean, this, this is, not, it, it's not even a question. Like, this, this guy should be in jail. Given how serious it is. So I reached out to Paradox Metaverse to try to hear their side of the story. Uh -huh. They decided not to respond. But they did respond on Discord what to did they their say? side of the story. They decided... People keep sending us, making videos. Would you like to make a comment on it? You're threatening people now. Yeah. Not to respond. But they did respond on Discord about it, confirming some of this. We have the brother of Ami Otalio responding under the handle Professor. You can see on Discord, he's labeled the co-founder. Oh, and someone gives side. Naeem's TikTok account. He says, hey, Amio's making it worse. His brother says, just a fudder getting told off. Nothing to worry about. Uh, what is he saying? Uh, Nami on TikTok, Amio making it worse. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He's making it worse. Absolutely. His brother says, just a fudder getting told off. Nothing to worry about. Quote, each of them, I guess the critics, have contacted us to pay them to remove the posts. Isn't that called blackmailing? Now, here he seems to confirm the threats, saying they were just telling them. I, I, I do feel like I, I, will, I will give the, the paradox scammers one little crumb that it is very telling that the people are now trying to reverse blackmail them into removing the posts. Okay. Off. 
But he also implies that they were blackmailed, which is a new allegation. Yes. So I reached out to them for comment about that. No response. Is there any evidence? So I of this? asked Naeem about it, and he, of course, says, "Well, that never happened." Yeah. I don't. I don't do that stuff. Like that's just weird. Why would I try to blackmail someone? And so we have no evidence. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's no evidence of it, right? Where it's like the other guy, like there's plenty of evidence of it, and there was like, "Oh, okay, he's doing it. That's why." Of this blackmail story, but we do have evidence yeah. of violent threats. So Amio's brother finally admits on Discord that the founder and face of the company sending threats via voicemail is hardly a good look. He responds, I do agree. Emotions can run high when you're being attacked and everyone is believing it over the truth and it's overshadowing Yeah, I would it. agree with that. Um, I guess the strategy here being the best way to stop people from thinking you're a scam is distract them with threats of criminal violence. Now, I'm not sure this is such a great move for them. Yeah. And it calls into question Amio Talio's whole persona about like he's just ignoring the haters i've got plenty of haters i don't I just ignore them just ignore them why do you not carry on hating i keep stacking bread well so much for that apparently he only follows this advice when someone bigger than him is talking to him online if you're a small creator he will threaten your life yeah of course now, it may not surprise you to learn that this whole story didn't stop there because i started to do a deep dive on this guy uh-huh and uh -oh. it turns out he actually has a history of this, even though he had a low profile online. He's apparently lived a lot of his life being a tough guy and threatening people for seemingly no reason. Like for example, he got in a fight with this guy at the gym uh, who didn't enjoy being filmed. What the fuck? What are you f***ing swearing? What? What are you f***ing swearing at? taking a picture of me. I'm taking a selfie of me. Don't swear at me. You swear at me. nobody. What are you f***ing talking about? Just gets in there just for no reason. He's starting shit. Don't name me, bro. What? What's he got a belt out? Don't stop getting nippy now. Don't worry, don't worry. One second. And I don't even know what they're saying. I, he got in a fight with his luxury car dealer who goes by the name Cash what? as well. He makes some pretty disgusting statements about the guy's family, which I will be bleeping out, but I think you can uh, read between the lines here. F your mom, f your hanky panky dad, your fucking stupid kids, yeah, your fucking. A brother that needs to come out of the closet. I told you, the lot of them. Yeah, so uh, he seems horrible. I mean, not exactly the stable guy Jesus. you want running your investments, right? This is the kind of guy who will literally just post himself online threatening crimes. That's what's most yeah. shocking about it. Like, he will film himself trying to commit crimes and then post it on YouTube. For example, well, of course, because he's gotten away with it every other time. No shit. Literally did this with a attempted theft. Open the boot. Don't record me. Help me. Come help me. <laughs> He's just stealing a fucking rock. <laughs> it, it can't fit in the trunk. He's got to put the wheels in first. What a fucking idiot. It's like. Man, wrap it in tin foil. That way, the GPS they won't be able to track us with the satellites, bro. Like, what a fucking idiot! Huh? We're just making sure that no one can steal this. So we're just making sure. <laughs> See if it fits in the boot. It don't. We we'll put it back. Now, I don't know what his defense is here. Maybe he would sure say somebody this doesn't is all a prank or a joke, or at least. He should have been able to say that if he hadn't basically confessed right after. It's like that kind of stuff is like, to me, it's just like, it's not harmless, but it's stupid. It's funny, right? But like him actually putting a hit out on a guy like that's not really very funny. Like him trying to steal the fucking delivery robot and he can't fit it in his trunk. Like this is some fucking like Reno 911. They show up and this guy's the one they've got to arrest. It's fucking funny. But the other stuff is just so much more over the line. Wow. After that, in the same video. We got caught. We are the worst. We are the worst criminals ever. We got caught. Wow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the first thing Ami Otalio has said that I agree with. Yeah. He's the worst criminal ever. It actually is true. And the thing is, like, what you learn with a lot of these people that, like, fucking break the law and do this shit, they do it right in the front of everybody because it's like for them it's about the adrenaline rush so it's not enough for them to sell weed at the apartment they have to go near the police station and sell weed near there so it's exciting enough for them to feel like they're having fun 
But why? Because it's fun. Hence it's the exciting. title, actually. It's not even me saying that. He, he says it himself. And then says the crime he just failed to do. We tried stealing one of those cart little robot machines and, and the guy who was meant to be delivering to him, <laughs> he's walked and he's like, what are you doing with my stuff? I was like, nah, nah, it's cool, isn't it? We're just making sure no one can steal it. Literally, that's his MO. He broadcasts himself, like, <laughs> make- Fucking stealing delivery robots. What a fucking idiot. Oh my god. King threats, attempting theft, and then only does that when he thinks he can get away with it. I mean, it's, it's just the worst. I could keep showing examples, but- This is the kind of person who gets into crypto. I think this is the last one I'm going to show. This one, though, shows especially what kind of a delusional narcissist this guy is. The biggest motherfucker going. The biggest motherfucker going. If I let some motherfucker like you, some motherfucker like you, try and play this kunda shit with me, your motherfucker is going to be the biggest down, your biggest down. But watch what happens to you. And what you think I'm going to come down? I'm a big man, bro. Make one phone call, bro. Yeah, what you think I'm going to come down to you? But you don't worry. You'll see what time it is, isn't it? Don't worry. Don't worry, you carry on. You just carry on, yeah? F your kids, f everyone. Don't need to swear no one's kids, bro. You watch. This guy is so unbelievably full of himself. I, I don't truly don't understand how people see this stuff and think like it's alpha or cool. It's pathetic. That's basically yeah. what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to follow up on the last video with this update and just uh, talk about the character of the guy behind Paradox Crypto. Oh my God. Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Sam Bankman. Holy Flip. fuck, man. What a... Uh... Elon Musk. Oh, just Mar a second. Sorry about that. I gotta go last back. Week, there I we go. Oh my, there he is, right there. Wow. Fucking wow. I asked him if he reported an MEO to the police, and he said yes. All right, so this guy got reported to the police. I mean, this dude's probably going to go to jail. I mean, like, let's be fucking honest. Like, this guy is 100% going to go to jail. Because, like, the odds are... That with a guy like this, where there's smoke, there's fire. I doubt it. A UK police won't do shit. I mean, like, how are they not going to do shit? I mean, like, there's just so much evidence is, like, right there in front of them. I mean, like, how can they even not do anything? Like, yeah, I, mean, I feel like they, they have to. A uh, guy thinks he's alpha, missing the ammo on what that entails. I mean, who cares? He's just a stupid asshole. Like, that's all there is to it. Jesus. UK police, uh, most inept police force in the world. Uh, people say that about every police force. Yeah, any country police. Yeah, I mean, I think that they'll probably be able to do something about it. I mean, like, there's just so much evidence against them, right? It's not like it's, oh, well, you know, like, this guy said he would do this bad thing. Like, no, they, they, there's so much evidence about it. Am I going to watch the Sunny V2 boogie video? Um... I don't know. I'm not going to watch it today, but I'll look at it at least. I'm glad CoffeeZilla is making videos about these clowns, though. I'm very glad about this. Hopefully, they will um, Hopefully, they will face at least some level of repercussions for this. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen. Our very timid girl was pushed off a pier near me and drowned. The guy that pushed her got three years for it. It's fucked up. Yeah, I mean, I don't know the details of that, but I mean, like, I think threatening somebody with, like, video recording and it's, like, obviously him, I, I, I feel like there's no way you get out of this, like, unscathed, you know?